today and this week's video I am going to be doing a client makeup tutorial a lot of you guys have been asking me to do one of these tutorials for a really long time and today I have my special guest here my best friend Zena um, I'm so excited to have her on my channel a lot of you guys may know her from all my social media YouTube and everything I have her on everything say hello hey um, but yeah I decided to do this this is a fall inspired makeup tutorial like I said this is a different kind of makeup look she's a different kind of skin tone she's a actually an oily skin tone so you already know look at her doing her poses <laughs> um, so, so if you haven't already go follow us on all our social media link down below Zena's as well and her snapchat I know a lot of you guys are wondering Feliciana what's her snapchat oh yes self promo bitch I see you bitch I see you <laughs> But anyways, <laughs> everything will be linked down below, all the products as well. Like I said before, if you guys don't know who she is, everything will be on the links down below. Um, like this video if you enjoy it. Comment down below any suggestions you guys got for me for my next week's video or anything that's going to be coming up. Because you know me, I always be lagging on this channel. But um, as of right now, if you guys enjoy this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos with Xena, just comment down below or <laughs> like this video. Let us know, and I'll for sure do that. So if you guys want to know how to do this look, just keep on watching. So I'm using the 350 L palette from Morphe, and I'm be going in with this transition shade that is an orangey transition. And I already set my eyes and prepped them. So yeah. Then after that, I am going to be going in with a warmer tone um, eyeshadow, which is a warmer tone brown. And I'm just going to be focusing that into her crease, just to add warmth to the look. Then after that, I am going to be going in with a second brown. This is more of a brownie nude. Um, not brownie nude, but it's more of a brownie um, shade. And I'm just going to be focusing that into the crease and inner crease. Um, inner corner, I mean. But just blend that in there just to add warmth to the skin. This is a more warmy skin tone kind of look today. Then after this, I am going to be going in with a darker brown. And this is going to add a lot of definition. It is going to intensify the look. Like I said, after transition after transition, it gets better and better. Don't go straight in with um, dark colors because then that's harder to blend. So yeah. Then after that, I went in with my MAC 224 brush to blend everything out so it can be seamlessly blended. Then I'm going to be going in with concealer and I'm going to be cutting the crease, not all the way, not like a cut crease. I'm just going to be cutting it just around the lid, just around her eyeball. I usually do this on myself and I love this technique, it's just one of my all time favorites. Then after that, so it won't transfer, like, sometimes the concealer decides to transfer on top of the lid, so make sure to set that with um, any white shadow or any translucent powder. I personally use today in this tutorial, I use my Cody Airspun. I love, love this Cody Airspun, it's my all time favorite, I use it for baking, I use it to set my face, I use it to set my concealer. It's crazy, like it's universal powder, it's just amazing. And I am using my MAC 214 brush to set that. Going in with the shimmery gold shade, and I'm gonna be packing that onto her lid with my luxury collection eyeshadow packer brush. I did apply some Fix Plus onto the brush so it can intensify the shadow. Then after that, I am gonna be going on to skin primer today I am using the Rimmel stay matte primer I love this primer and then I did use a second primer and that is the Urban Decay tightening primer I love that primer it's one of my all-time favorites it's so cooling it's so refreshing I love love that primer then I did apply that with a dual fiber brush now I'm gonna be going on to foundation for foundation I am going in with the um, L'Oreal infallible foundation like I said she is a um, oily skin tone so I had to go in with a matte foundation so she won't get oily so I am going to be applying that foundation with a kabuki brush from elf I love the kabuki brush from elf it's just one of my all-time favorite brushes at the drugstore and it's so affordable honestly with a kabuki brush it da it like does add more coverage if you want less coverage you can apply it with a sponge that does tend to not give you as much coverage but with a kabuki brush of course that is more full coverage because you're just like you know dabbing that really into your skin and it's really really just you know making you look like porcelain making you look flawless
So to prevent cakiness, I am going to be going in with a beauty blender. This is just going to be um, taking the excess foundation, anything that just doesn't belong there. I see the difference when I do this technique or this step because it, it actually just makes my makeup or just makes makeup just in general a lot more better. And now I am going to be going in with the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. I love this concealer. It's one of my all-time favorites. I love this for highlighting. If you guys don't know this about me yet, I think this is a dupe for the NARS Creamy um, Concealer. Yeah, I think that's how I say it. NARS Creamy Concealer. I think it's a dupe. I honestly totally see the difference. I love, love the coverage off of this. This is not as drying as the NARS Creamy Concealer because the NARS Creamy Concealer is very, very... Um, not drying, but it does dry, dry fast, so you have to work by like one eye and then blend and then another eye one blend. This one doesn't dry that fast, so I don't have to worry about blending it faster, but I just apply this everywhere. I highlight like usual the nose, the under eyes, the forehead, and my top of my lip, and yeah, and then on the bottom of my lip. And after that, I am just going to be going in with a tap beauty blender once again and blending that out. I love the Beauty Blender for everything. I cannot see myself without the Beauty Blender in my life. I love the Beauty Blender. I just blend everything out just seamlessly. Um, basically, the same thing like I do in every tutorial, I just blend everything out. Now I'll be going in with my Anastasia Cream Contour Palette and I'm going to be cream contouring her face. So I'm going to be applying that to her cheekbones and also her forehead and that's all. I just like doing that personally. It just basically does the job. I don't really like to do cream contour around the nose personally. I think it's very, very hard to blend so I use powder instead. So I'm just going to be blending that out with my Beauty Blender and now she's laughing for no reason. She laughs like when I pound her face with like the Beauty Blender. I don't know why. Now I'm going to be going in with the Cody Airspun to set her under eye. Basically I'm going to be baking her under eye. I love doing this technique especially on people that are oily skin. Um, because it's really just gonna set her makeup and it's not gonna like go anywhere and it's just gonna add a highlight at the end so yeah don't apply too much of this I honestly think if you apply too much it's just wasting product for no reason so yeah now I'll be going in with my L'Oreal true match powder in the um, shade n5 and then I'm just gonna be basically setting her whole face with that I am using an icing's brush um, icing's buffer brush and I'm just gonna be setting her whole face with this I love this powder it's one of my all-time favorite powders from the drugstore this is so similar to um, a max um, studio finish full coverage powder I think that's how you say it it's so similar to a lot of high-end powders it does leave you a matte finish and I love it it's my friend got me hooked onto this a while back and now I can't stop using it I love this powder it just really sets my makeup and it makes a real big difference now I'll be going in with my NYC bronzer in Sunny and I'm going to be bronzing up her face. The brush I'm using is a Luxury Collection blush brush. I love using this personally just for, you know, bronzing up the face and just contouring. I just love it for that use. I honestly don't think this is for big, like, you know, blush or anything like that. I honestly think that it is more for contouring and stuff like that. Now I'll be going in with my NYX contouring kit and I'll be going in with those two shadows, two contour shadows from that palette and I'm going to be contouring her face to make her look more defined, more slimmer and just make her look snatched to the gods. Like that's the whole point of contouring honey. Like contouring is a huge, huge thing nowadays because of Instagram and all that. So I love contouring and then just make sure to blend that out. After that, I am going to be going in with a banana shade from the N NYX. I don't know if I said NYX or I said NYC at the beginning of this video when I started using that palette, but it is the NYX contouring kit. And I'm just going to be using that banana shade and I'm just going to be dusting off that excess powder from the Cody Airspun with that banana shade from that palette. Now I'm going in with the Gwen Stefani blush palette and I'm just going to be blushing up her cheeks with all those three shades that you just saw. And she's just going to be looking like, you know, a really blushy girl. And I I love blush personally. Now I'll be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting kit and I'm just going to be highlighting her to the gods. Also a lot of you guys may be asking, um, this highlighting palette is beautiful for everybody. I honestly think this is a universal palette. You guys, anybody can use it and yeah. Also for lips and everything that will be listed down below. The lashes that I'm using are from Select Lash that you can purchase at the 99 cent store and they are in the number S99. 
and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and for eyeliner that will be linked down below as, as well don't worry about that but for lips i didn't do that on camera i'm really sorry guys and yeah that will just be linked down below don't worry i'll just leave everything listed down below and then for contour i did contour her nose with the nyc bronzer and then i highlighted her nose with the same highlighting powder that i used on her cheekbones so for the lips and lashes everything will be listed down below also for the liner um, I did apply the same transition shades on her bottom lid like I used on top just apply the same thing on her bottom lid and then I used the inner corner highlight with the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting palette and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video love you guys You a sunset view. I will make it so you can live on two. Give my arms and walk with me. I'm a woman who can make them free. I will make you a sunset view. I will make it so you can live on two. Give my arms and walk with me. And tonight I'm alive in a dollar sign Guaranteed I can blow your mind And tonight I'm alive in a dollar sign Guaranteed I can blow your mind Get off your phone so we can do this outro and get it done with. Okay, go back so you can like see. <clears throat> you want to put it back on your thing or no? No. Cause like I feel like, like it shows too much bra. True. No, but like. Her, just put this on. I like this. Down, hey guys, so today I am with my friend Zena. Introduce yourself. Wait, hey. wait, 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 I messed up again. Best friend. Okay. Uh -huh. who, who you are? Wait. <sighs> Wait, so how am I supposed to? Just be like, hey guys, just be like, hey guys, it's me, Zena, or like something like that. Just be like, hey guys. Just